Welcome to Museum Holic. I'm your host Anne Pasek. Let's explore together museums in Poland. Dzień dobry. Jestem na imię Ania Pasek. Będziemy eksplorować museums w Polsce teraz. Just a little info, I lived in Poland two and a half years and my ex-husband was Polish and Canadian as well. So we're both Canadian and Polish. And also I studied the language and I studied uh, some other courses when I was in Poland, like a management program and a culinary program but nonetheless Poland is such an interesting country and it's beautiful and most of all rich in history so for me this country it's like a second home base just the same in the Philippines which is my first home base so I start from the Philippines and then to Poland and then here in Canada where, I'm, uh, where I am based and there are few times that uh, uh, also I live in the States. So it's kind of a roller coaster uh, lifestyle but let's focus right now regarding Poland Museum. Museum Bipolse. So the first one that I want to share to you is the Samkovi V Malbotic or the Museum Samkovi V Malbotic or the, the the castle in the Museum Castle or the Malboric Castle Museum. So just a little bit brief history about the museum itself. It starts in during the time in Theotonic order or best known as Theotonic Knights and today this organization it's it still exists but only the order in in uh, in the terms of charitable and ceremonial activities so during the Theotonic times the Teotan, the Teotans pertaining to the Northern Europeans, and that include German, Dutch, Scandinavian, British, and related people of languages in Germanic and Normandic. And the and the Teutonic order. If you gonna see or check the website, please do not skip this part about the. Teutonic order, the history of the order, the Grand Master, and then down to the history of the castle. That's the Teutonic era, and that include the Polish era, the Prussian era, the Great Reconstruction, the Third Week, or the Third Realm, or it means the Third Empire. Then the last one is after the Second World War. So there is a link that you can check on the description below and I would like you to go and check for yourself and play around with the website and there are a lot of virtual tours that the museum has to offer. And the second one that I would like to share, it's also very very well known it's the memorial and museum in Auschwitz and Birkenau so it's the former German Nazi concentration and extermination camp safe to do so to travel to Poland please visit the memorial site but there are some changes right now 
due to the pandemic regarding about the visit. It's because you have to go online, do a reservation so that you can get a special time slot for you to visit the vicinity or the area. But I encourage also to buy or support the bookstore. There are a lot of books that you can buy online and it comes in Polish language and in English as well and I bet there are some other languages. So please support uh, the museum by buying the publication like the books or other stuff in the gift shop. So let's go to more fun a museum history guitari and it is a type of museum that is guitar history museum and again the museum present a collection of black neck cordophone from all over the world that is a string or flat instrument with a neck. You can play most of them, listen by the sound, and you can learn the history of guitar. An interactive of lute instrument from all over the world, showing the history of the creation of the modern guitar. The museum is located in Katowice, Poland, the capital of the Silesian province of Poland, is famous for its industrial and art scene. The Museum of Warsaw, or it's called Museum Warszawy. I just want to give you a little bit of info. I live in Warsaw for for quite some times and I took my Polish language in the University Wiwarszawski and it was fun and I meet a lot of at works in the government or in the uh, or part of a diplomat so I, I, I would say that I have uh, a good time when I was in Poland despite that I have to learn the language and I think most of the time right now the younger generation and even the older one understand and speak uh, Polish but if you go further to the rural area then mostly English it's not spoken. Three permanent exhibition. The first one is the things of Warsaw. The second one is the Warsaw data. The third one is the history of tenement houses. And during the time of fire, most of the tenement houses were actually uh, in destruction. So if you're gonna visit there or if you'd been there that is a new construction or new building and it's a beautiful place where they call it the old town in Warzo so it's not too far in the University of Warzo so please try to visit the old town or the Museum of Warsaw. We'll continue next week the Poland Museum. Będziemy kontynuowane w przyszłym tygodniu. Dziękuję.